Hello and welcome to Tuesday, November the 26th. Uh, yes, it's like 4.30. Yes, I just got home. <laughs> yeah, that whole uh, wanting to be done by noon today did not happen. And in fact, we're going to have to go back tomorrow and finish some of it. The decorating, the, the light, uh, light trail, whatever, lighted trail, whatever they're calling it. I don't actually know, but... <laughs> yes, and I'm having to do some laundry because um, uh, I, 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 th I think Peter pulled a log in from out of the lake and uh, we picked it up and threw it in the back of the dump truck. Um, so it got all over my coat and all over my hoodie and I smelled like the lake and not a very pleasant part of it either <laughs> so and it's like I mean I guess I've got an I've got another coat but it's still like uh, when it gets cold uh, cold enough um, which it will probably be tonight um, I usually wear like a hoodie and a coat um, I don't it's just the way I've way I've always done. Um, I mean, I guess I, I could get like a heavier coat that you know. I don't know. Just never have. Just never have. So, but that's usually the way that I I deal with the colder, colder nights. You know. And then of course, if it gets down to the teens or whatever, I have what I call my Sub Zero mask that I, you know. Uh, gator? Is that what they call them? That you put up over your face to block out the cold air? But but yes, uh, my hoodie and my coat both got like pond sludge or lake sludge on them. <laughs> and it's I like I smelt it. I feel I feel like I still smell it. I it might be on my jeans because I uh, I was knelt down um, um, near the bridge putting together a couple of lighted reindeers. Um, it could be on my shoes. I don't know. I feel I feel like I still smell it. It could just be ingrained within my person now. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But, uh, I don't know. So I feel like I'm sitting a little weird on camera because it's like, usually I like turn to the side so that I can get closer, but I don't want to get my jeans uh, you know, s sitting on the couch is fine because um, I don't think I ever actually like sat down on the ground for it to soak into my asshole but uh, I did kneel down so my knees got wet and you know um, so I might be I might be smelling the lake on my knees I don't know but yes currently I am washing uh, Washing my coat and my hoodie so that they'll be ready for tonight to walk to work tonight before I have to. Uh, it might just be on my hands. I don't know. Um, but I don't need to eat anything because Chris actually took us out for lunch today at the Pizza Hut, the buffet. We went and ate Pizza Hut buffet today for lunch. So, which uh, I kind of forgot to go back to the, but it'll I, it'll. It'll still be there for tomorrow. Pete's wife actually, uh, well, he, he asked yesterday. He's like, oh, my wife's going to make French toast if you want some. And I was like, that actually sounds pretty good. So uh, he brought me some. And I, I ate half of it uh, when we went back to the shop because we thought we were meeting at the shop at like 10 o'clock. Um, so we went back to the shop at 10 o'clock because we picked up all the sticks and the branches and everything that was around the you know, where the trail was going to be, whatever. Um, and then we went and we dumped them. And then we went back to the shop because we thought, you know, that's where we were going to meet. And so while we were there, I, I ate part of it. It was pretty good. It's got some, like, cinnamon and some nuts in there. It was pretty, pretty good, pretty good. But I was planning on having the rest of it for lunch um, <laughs> when we went in for lunch. And then we ended up, uh, Chris took us out to... To Pizza Hut buffet instead. So I'm not hungry. 
Oh, goodness. But maybe I should set an alarm so that I don't fall asleep before I, <laughs> so I don't doze off. Because it's like, uh, I think the laundry is going to be done about 5.30. Right? Yeah, it should be about 5.30. So I, sh I should be able to sleep by about 7 o'clock. Um, as, long, as long as I get the laundry switched over and the dryer that I use actually, that's going to be so annoying if I get one of the dryers that doesn't actually dry. They might all work by now, but there's only like one or two of them that I, there's only one that I know that I can definitely trust. Um, and so hopefully uh, there's somebody else down there doing laundry right now. So hopefully they don't take that one. Crossed. Or if they do, you know, maybe the other ones, maybe the ones are finally fixed. They finally work. It's been a, it's been a while. So they might actually, oh, oh shit, break my nose. Oh, excuse me. But, um, so that's going to be annoying if I, if I wash my coats and then my coat and my hoodie and then they're. I wait an hour and they're still not fucking dry. That'll be annoying. But, uh, while I wait, I might as well... Oh, and an interesting story. I said Pete and I were picking up sticks or whatever. And then there was this one that was kind of like... I was looking at it and I'm like... I think that's a fucking snake. Like, in the ground. Most of the way in the ground. His, his little butt was sticking out. Of, like it looked like he tried to dig into a hole, but it like it looked like he was very stiff like it almost looked like a tree root You know, and I was like I asked Pete. I'm like is that a snake? And he kind of started poking at it just to see as I, I was like I think it's dead So he kind of started poking at it because it, it looked very very like I said stiff and very not alive And so he grabbed it and he started pulling on it to pull it out, you know, and I mean it was it was a snake. <laughs> like, it had, like, partially decomposed, and so we don't know what happened. It, like, dug down into this hole, and I don't know. It only got part way in the hole. So we're thinking, because there, there was a tree branch that had fallen uh, near that area, which is why we were, you know, over there picking, you know, we were over there picking up sticks. And it's like, so, I, so maybe, I don't know, maybe he... Maybe the tree branch fell on him and it and it damaged him. It hurt him. Uh, it injured injured him. He was injured injured bad. Um, that's from these old commercials with the kids. Uh, some kind of doctor commercial. And the kids talking about he's like she kicked him in the penis. He was injured injured bad. <laughs> he kicked him in the penis. Do you know what he did? He kicked him in the penis. So, but yeah, uh, cause I wasn't gonna touch it or anything. But yeah, Pete, he started, he grabbed it, and he started pulling, pulling it out of the hole. So it dug down in. I, I don't know. I, but it didn't make it all the way in the hole, which was weird. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know how that can happen. But I just, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, but yeah, we found a dead snake in a hole today. Um, it was interesting. Pete just kind of went and threw it over in the woods. So, something will be enjoying that this evening, maybe. Um, the 26th. Let's find out what our question of the time is. What has recently taken a turn for the unexpected? What has recently taken a turn for the unexpected? Um... Parks and Rec, we found a dead snake in a hole today, which is, you know, of course, you know, I mean, retail, you never know, you never know what's going to go down in retail. Um, it actually, uh, there, there was some kind of smell, something was burning this morning, but uh, I guess it was out in the parking lot, because it like, it smelled like, it, it smelled like some, like maybe the store was like on fire or something, but apparently it was coming in from outside, because the, they had the back door open. Uh, to let the vendors in or whatever, uh, but it smelled like in the store. <sighs> but somebody came in and they're like, "Yeah, we can't." You know, it, it, they smelled it in the parking lot when they were coming in for the day. So it's like a couple of people from the bakery. I'm like, well, damn. 
or the deli, I don't know, one of the two, I don't know. Um, so it's like working retail, you know, it's, uh, you just, you never know. You never know what's going to go down. You never know what's going to go down with Parks and Rec, either. <laughs> it's like, it's like, you know, supposed to have this done today by noon, and it wasn't. Um, we started pulling the, we were uh, stretching out the lights, and uh, I don't know if it was from them, like, getting pulled, getting pulled along the ground, but the lights started popping out. Um, I might not have had them screwed in as tight as they should have been either. So it's like there was a whole bunch of like bulbs that came out. So we had to figure you know, we had to figure out where they went because they had a specific, like you know, we were trying to keep the you know the the color combination you know uh, A B A B squared up down left right square start whatever. <laughs> we were trying to keep the light you know the 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 color pattern uh, the same. But we ended up getting them all back in there. <sighs> kind of like sometimes it's like, you just you just never know. You just never know what's going to happen. Sometimes you find a dead snake in a hole. Just never know. Um, of course, you know, uh, I mean, I, I suppose it wasn't fairly, uh, it wasn't fairly recent. This was, you know, all the way back at the end of July. But, you know, my health took an unexpected turn. Um, you know, not expecting blood clots in the lungs. Um, didn't see that one coming. <laughs> so, I mean, there's that, you know. Um, more bills to pay. More bills to pay. Uh, <laughs> though Mom paid most of them off for me. So, now all I gotta do is pay Mom back. So, I haven't, I haven't heard the damage on that one yet. So, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. She put them all on, like, her credit card, so... We'll see. But, um... Uh, other than that, yeah, like, work and health. Those are the two things that took an unexpected turn. Cause you just never know. Blah, 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 to me. Blah, 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 blah. So, just gotta stay awake. Gotta fuck me. For another half hour? Is that right? Did I do that right? It's 30 minutes. Or 36 minutes. I guess that's where, that's where it's throwing me off. Is the little timer said 36 minutes, not 30 minutes. So it wasn't like a half hour. It was almost 40 minutes. So that's, what, that's why I'm like, was that right? But yes, I guess it was. So I have to stay awake for another half hour... So I could at least switch the laundry over so it's in the dryer, so if I accidentally doze off, you know, um, I can run over there and grab them real quick. <laughs> as long as they're dry, that's all that, you know, I don't want to doze off and then wake up at like 9 p.m. and have still like my, my fucking coats in the goddamn washer and put it in the dryer. At that point, I wouldn't be able to, because I'm like, I gotta get ready to work. I gotta get ready to go to work. So, and take my eloquence. That's important at nine o'clock. <sighs> Half an hour. I think I can. I hope I can. I better set an alarm. I should probably set an alarm just in case. Um, but I'm going to get this uploaded in that time. Um, now I've answered it, and you have maybe watched it. I don't know if you've seen it this far. So thank you for being here. That was unexpected. Was it not? And I'll see you for what I see. Yeah.